here's an email from the ex-girlfriend saying, it was so good to see you last night. I've really missed you, blah, blah, blah. So what goes on in my head? Here we go again. I've never been like that before in my life. I've been on the receiving end mm -hmm. plenty of times. Mm -hmm. It was never like that before in my life. And uh, there's no excuse for it. I'm not saying because of what I found out it's okay, because it's not. I got there and his parents were there. I can't remember if he was there at the moment or not, but I already had some alcohol in my system. So you get out of jail, you get alcohol, and then you go back home? Yeah. Okay. I drank right out of court. Hardly even coming to. Coming to enough to get out to the store to get more. So I scaled up the balcony to the second story balcony. I'm sitting there amongst hardened criminals, murderers, you know, rapists. They took my ponytail, including my own hair, and cut it all off. She was one of the Latin queens, and uh -huh. when she was 16 in a fight with a bunch of uh, gang girls, um, they took it too far and beat a girl to death, and she was pregnant, so she got two counts of murder. That was one of my friends in jail. Now, at this time, this is when Linda McMahon was running for Senate. So me being in the news all over New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut, the 6 o'clock news, the 11 o'clock news, four or five times over a month period, plus TMZ five times, wasn't looking good for the company and for her. They were quite upset. The Senate race had just ended. So as the Senate race was going on, they're paying $1,000 a day. For the nice place. As soon as the Senate race is over, guess how much this place costs a day? So you can just $106 a day. Did you ever see the movie Girl Interrupted with Angelina Jolie, Winona Ryder, they're in a mental mm -hmm. hospital? Mental hospital, right. Well, this is where they shot it. So if you look at this disgusting facility in the movie, this is where I was, where they do lobotomies. You have to wash dishes from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day for a week. And you're not allowed to sit. 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., you're on your feet washing dishes. And when the dishes are all washed, you put them all back in and you rewash them. And I said, Shannon, you know, we're not even talking about you. Just mind your own business. We were talking about something else. Well, she didn't want to hear that, so she threw a glass on my face. The glass hit me right here. I have my lawyer call the WWE, and they're like, no, we're not paying for anything else. And I said, how is it that you can pay for Scott Hall to go to 12 rehabs, nice rehabs? They said to me on the phone, well, you're not Scott Hall. I, I couldn't tell you one good thing about you. Why don't you tell me something nice about well, you? If Make I, me like you. I, I hate to talk about my personal life so in depth, but that's what we're here for, isn't it? You talked about your personal life elsewhere. Yeah. Was that stuff true? Not all of it. You know how many shoot interviews I've done, not with you, but with someone else, that I've completely made up stories to make it sound interesting, and they were completely made up off the top of my head. Just nonsense. Did Chris know about your indiscretions? I don't know. How could you not know? It never came up. How could he not know? That's a better question. That I don't know. I wronged him in ways that he didn't deserve. <laughs> Nobody deserves that. No one. Um, I've never cried so much, Sean. You're killing me. Oh, <laughs> this is going to feel good when you leave here. Is there a mental illness here? Probably.